Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Elliot Weber and we have our first piece of sort of official news to talk about for the 2025 BTCC season and that is hybrid is no more. Hybrid is gone for the 2025 BTCC season. Instead, um, the TOKA have announced they will be introducing 100% sustainable fuel um, for the championship. Um, now, straight off the bat is this a shock i will be honest yeah i'm very surprised given how alan gow and toka and everyone in the btcc was saying that this is going to be the the long the long-term plan this was going to be a long-term thing honestly i expected this to last until until the, at the very least the 2027 regulations which are planning to come into place um, which I'm sure we will know more about at some point within the next two years. Um, so, yeah, I thought they were going to last at least five or six years, but no, it's it's been confirmed, it's been announced, uh, it's no more, it's now gone, it's dead, it's done, it's dusted. Um, it's, yeah, I honestly, I, like I say, I can't believe this. I was expecting Hybrid to be back for next year, for 2026 at, at the very least. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but I can also see why, um, you know, you look at the three years of the hybrid, 2022 was an okay season, but I think that was because of the championship battle between Ingram, Sutton and Hill. You know, you look at some of the races in between that, you know, the racing didn't really improve compared to the ballast, it to compared to the ballast era. Um, you know, it didn't make much of a difference per se, but of course we did still get a great close championship battle in 2022. So I think that makes up for it. 2023, as we know, there were a ton of problems that year. It wasn't just for the fact of hybrid. It was also because Napa Racing and Ash Shutton blew everyone away. Um, so you can't really fault Napa for the 2023 season because... They just outdeveloped everyone. That's that's all. That's all they did. Um, however, hybrid didn't make much of a difference in 2023. In fact, there were there were legitimate times in 2023 where I even forgot hybrid was there. Like that's how little of an impact it made in 2023. And of course, 2024 it improved massively. That's why I am very shocked at this because. I did not expect hybrid to be dropped, but it, indeed it is. Now, as we know, BTCC have been uh, hinting of the of, of this possible move to 100% sustainable fuel because Daryl DeLeon uh, was using 100% sustainable fuel uh, at Silverstone and at Brands Hatch. And Daryl, once he got that sustainable fuel, he in fact improved his results at Brands Hatch. He got his best career finish of seventh place. So, yeah, if Daryl DeLeon's you know, De Leon was improving anyway. He was getting better race on race. But as soon as he got that sustainable fuel in, in his car, he started to improve again. So, yeah, I in my opinion, this is the right move. I think hybrid was just a little bit of a gimmick because it wasn't really hybrid. They just called it that to, I'd imagine, to appeal uh, to uh, manufacturers. However, we didn't get any new manufacturers in the three years. So... Yeah, I, I, I am surprised, but at the same time, I'm not di disappointed. I was expecting this to happen at some point in the future. Just a little shocked it's come only after three years. Um, so yeah, so now what does this mean for 2025? Well, as I've said already, they are bringing in 100% sustainable fuel. So that'll be on every single car next year. Um, not only that, it should make entries a little bit cheaper. Um, obviously... It's not going to be like completely cheaper, you know, motorsport and BTCC will still be very expensive next year. However, from my knowledge and from what I've heard, the hybrid itself costs about £30,000 a year, um, which is a lot. That is a lot, especially if your teams like Napa Racing, Accelerate, where you've got four cars, 30000 times by four is a lot of money. I'm not smart enough to figure that out. Um so, yeah, it's definitely going to make things a little bit cheaper. BTCC have also confirmed they will be making adjustments to the turbo next year to um, to hopefully make the cars just as quick um, without that hybrid advantage. Um, so, yeah, so 
theoretically not a lot is going to change you just won't see the flashing blue lights on the rear windows anymore um you won't there won't be that extra boost that cars will get um however the the most important thing as i've mentioned with now thirty thousand pounds completely gone the teams don't have to spend that much anymore i'd imagine we will now hopefully see a lot more drivers and cars on the grid we will hopefully see Drivers not making one-offs with sponsorships pulling out. Bobby Thompson, I'm looking at you. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, yeah, this does mean we will see more drivers back on the grid because hopefully the entry fees will go down just a little bit. Um, as for the racing itself, I can't predict that. I cannot predict how the racing is going to be in 2025 with BTCC because it's the most unpredictable championship in the world, in my opinion. So, um so yeah, obviously, uh, again, not too sure what the race is going to be like. I can only hope the racing will be just as good next year as it was this year. Uh, you know, yes, hybrid had its problems, but, you know, 2024 was a great season for BTCC, obviously with Jake Hill taking his first championship. Um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below, guys. What's your, what is your opinion on hybrid going for 2025 what's your opinion on btcc introducing 100 sustainable fuel and what are your early predictions for the 2025 btcc season let me know your thoughts in the comments below guys be sure to like this video share with the mates as well because it of course does help my channel grow and of course press that subscribe button because we are firmly on the road to 300 subscribers thank you guys for watching and i will see all of you tomorrow for what if episode three Thank you guys for watching and I will see all of you in the next one. Goodbye.